Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into the point because the fallout from the latest Democratic debate is real. Let's go ahead and get into Reuters Politics. This is their latest tweet. Elizabeth Warren appears to reject a handshake from Bernie Sanders after the Iowa debate. Tensions between the two had risen after Warren said on Monday that Sanders told her in 2018 he did not believe a woman could beat Trump. More hashtag dim debate highlights at Reuters, yada, yada, yada. I'll go ahead and put that in there if you want to watch more than just the Warren Sanders fallout. And to be honest, I, I, I don't believe for a second that Bernie said this. This seems like really dirty politics on Elizabeth Warren's end. Uh, Sanders has made it very public uh, time and time again that he wants Elizabeth Warren to be in his cabinet or as his vice president over and over again, especially in 2016. And this is not this is not the first time that the Democrats have pulled very have played very dirty pool with uh, Sanders in regards to uh, his nomination and his uh, progress to being the number one contender to beat Trump in the election. If you recall, in the 2016 Iowa caucus, Bernie Sanders lost a district to a simple coin toss. So our official delegate for this precinct is Hillary Clinton. It was very, very close. People. Remember, this is a caucus. It was very, very close. It was called by its coin toss. Now, if that doesn't just scream uh, in the face of a democratic process, I don't honestly know what would, in your opinion. Uh, to see that a coin toss could determine the leader of the quote-unquote free world is appalling. It really does take the voice away from the people and the voiceless as well. Let's go ahead and see this clip. <laughs> like I said, this isn't the first time that the DNC and the Democrats have played dirty pool with Sanders. And CNN is in on the scam as well. As you can see right here, we see CN, hashtag CNN is trash trending all over Twitter right now. And quite frankly, good. Because CNN has been absolute, complete, and total garbage for many, many years. See, the people who watch CNN, their fans, like to pretend that they're some sort of liberal bastion of leftist uh, 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 speech. To be honest, they're not. CNN used to be as far right as Fox News back in the old Bush days pr uh, prior to uh, the 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 hurricanes Katrina and Rita after everyone saw the writing on the wall the Bush administration being a DOA and being a complete freaking trash fire at that point and that's that's when they started flipping but let's let's go ahead and get back to the point here this is what we saw from this is the allegation or the allegation being brought up during the DNC debate and how just absolutely terrible uh, CNN, it's either, it's either they, this was a screw up on their, on the moderator's end, or it was deliberate. Honest to God, I think it was deliberate. Let's go ahead and check it out. Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sand Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> Sanders, I do want to be. I mean, what the hell? This is this is inexcusable for a news organization to pull this kind of nonsense. I mean, I know that you're trying to read a script right now. I know you're trying to get everything to move forward and forward and forward and all that. I know you got a debate to do, but you know, this kind of mean-spirited, dis deliberate dishonesty. I'm just going to go ahead and just call it deliberate because that's what I feel it is. There's no way that a professional uh, at CNN would accidentally screw up this big. No freaking way. I I'm not buying it. Not for a second. Anyways, we can see right here in this video, Sanders is visibly pissed off. He's not really going to take this lying down, and quite frankly, he shouldn't. This is the at the very end 
of the Democratic debate tonight. Go ahead and check this out. This was it, the last time Americans will hear the Democratic candidates all on stage together, hearing them debate before the first votes are cast 20 days from now. Caucuses in 20 days. Six candidates on stage, laser focus. Oh, God, Andrew Cooper, Anderson Cooper. Can't stand that guy. <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you what, they, the dude in the middle right here, from oh, oh, the dude in the middle right there at the very end of that video, this guy, I mean, more power to him. He, he, you can tell that there's some heat, some tension uh, right now in this, and this is not just like some stupid Bernie bro propaganda that Elizabeth Warren supporters are already pumping out. They're saying it's the Bernie bros, the return of the Bernie bros. Remember that? Remember that, hey, you're a Bernie bro if you slightly disagree with me, or you mention that most of Elizabeth Warren's platform is pretty much directly plagiarized from Bernie Sanders's platform, some of Obama's too, but whatever, Obama's freaking gone and he had his presidency, you know, I hope he enjoys retirement. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this article here. This is another reason why I'm completely not on board with this whole Bernie Sanders said sexist things to Elizabeth Warren, because this is an article that was posted at 11, 18, 13, uh, uh this is San Bernie Sanders won't rule out presidential bid, totes Elizabeth Warren for the VP nomination. This is back in 2013 when he was just workshopping sort of a uh, the the idea of him going going up against the 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 presidential the Republican presidential nominee. We didn't know it was Trump at the time. So, uh, he wasn't even in fact Trump at that time wasn't even considering running for president. But let's go ahead and read a couple of paragraphs. We won't read the entire thing. But Senator B Bernie Sanders won't rule out a presidential bid if no other liberal candidate steps up to run. But suggested Senator Elizabeth Warren could fit the bill. Already, the, the sexism claim from the four anonymous sources that were not vetted, that were not disclosed publicly, who we do not know the identities of, just it could be... Four ran, you know, the, the four people could just not exist, and this is just a nonsense, uh, a nonsense claim from the Elizabeth Warren camp, which I am saying that that's prob that's a probability. So anyway, Sanders tell the Burlington Free Press that he'd prefer not to run, but if no one else steps up to challenge the quote unquote establishment politicians in 2016, he may feel compelled to do so. We need a sense of urgency, and I don't see that in the establishment politicians, and I don't see that in the establishment media, he says. There are people in this world who, ever since that they were 12 years of age, they decided they wanted to be president of the United States. That is honestly not me. Anyone re who really, really wants to be the president is slightly crazy, because this is an unbelievably difficult job given to the crises, given the crises that this country faces today. He indicated Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democratic from Massachusetts, might earn his backing if she were to run, however. I like Elizabeth Warren very much. Her beauty is that she is very smart. She speaks English. She can explain economics in a way that everyone can understand. Sanders previously said he hasn't ruled out a run, but the odds of that happening are at but the odds of that happening at one percent. That's a, just a terrible typo on the on the hills then, but the hill is a decent side, so I won't bust their chops too much. As Sanders said if he did run for president, he would probably run as an independent rather than a Democrat. Well, history showed us otherwise, and he decided, obviously, to run as a Democrat. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video so you can read this entire article yourself if you would like. <clears throat> And I would like to go ahead and just uh, end the video with this. It's absolutely insane that the people in the Elizabeth Warren camp are not seeing how badly this damages the Democratic brand. If, if the Democrats want to beat Trump in the next election, they're going to have to shape up or they're going to get shipped out. And they're going to get shipped out in the worst possible way. Uh, the best looking candidate right now seems to be Andrew Yang. Because, no, quite frankly, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, y'all can take it or leave it, everyone's just too dang old. 
uh, too old. Trump's too old. Uh, uh, Andrew Yang has a lot of life ahead of him, a lot of experience in the in the private sector and business sector, and I, I have more faith in him and more faith of, in his competency than I do uh, Elizabeth Warren, who uh, says a lot of mean things to the uh, uh, to the lobbyists and to the companies and to the corporations that have ruined our country and ruined our government. But she's not above taking any uh, any of the corporate donations from them at all. Where you should see your top five donor list. It'll absolutely. It, will, it won't even surprise you. And, and to be honest, if you're still surprised by politics in the modern day, you've probably not been paying attention too much to modern day politics. Anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for when I upload videos. And uh, until next time, pleasure of seeing you. Thanks for coming out. Ta-ta.